Okay, so I just realized that I haven't actually showed my apartment yet because I'm not going to be living here much longer, so I just wanted to show a couple things. But this fucking shelf right here is the best thing I've ever done. When I first moved in and I was like cooking a lot and working, I kept it all like neat and everything, but um, now that I'm not really cooking anymore, I don't do dishes, so I don't put anything on here. And I don't know, most of that stuff just has like been gone. Um, there used to be like a wooden crate here, but I that held like paper towels. But I brought that trash shows now, so it's in my car. I don't even know what this is, but it's been there forever, and it's not mine. I used to just keep all of my art like hanging on the walls and stuff, but this is so much easier just to have them in the bags. This is a Utrecht bag. This is what they give you um, your art supplies and stuff in. And then I have like this browse box, which I searched and I searched under like I scoured. Oh, so many antique shops to get, find a magazine holder and I found this one and I love this one I spray painted it the same color that I spray painted a lot of my plate holders that I use to frame stuff so I just have a couple things that I framed in here and I framed them myself oh, let's, let's that one is the Daddy Long Legs and this one the deer and then there's more in this other bag I don't see what's going into it um just a couple and classic paintings that I did for school these two are not for school those are those come with me to the shows but these are made out of wax so I can't leave them in my car and um they're so they're kind of soft still so you can't leave them in the bag with the frame stuff so and then this when we when we first moved in we didn't have Wi-Fi yet so I spent a whole bunch of time cutting down corks and I had this cork paper in the past like I've had it for a while oh, I nailed it to the wall and cut those up with a knife and an exacto knife and I trace or I didn't trace these letters I wrote these letters myself and it didn't take too long. a couple of wine things I got this from World Market and then this is from World Market I love this lamp I love them and then this top is from Target. This thing is from Target. I love this thing. When I first moved in, again, it was full of just glasses and glasses. And then these are so cute. And I never got to use because I never host any parties. But these are from Pier 1. Just little drink mustache charms. I thought they were super cute. And I think I got those. Oh, no, I didn't. I got them for $10. I'm a little expensive. Pier 1's kind of expensive. So, and then I have a table. And I will just tell you that all of this furniture is mine. The only thing that's his is the trash and that coffee maker. But anyway, so couches, I got some pillows. It's not very bright in here. Oh my gosh, let me show you my plants. I have two succulents and I've had them since we moved in. And they were first in like two different pots. So let me show you. So this one used to be in this pot. And then this guy used to be in this pot. Um, but it's just so big and it keeps growing and I need to water it probably but these are new these little sprouts over here those are new and this I just feel so bad for him because, <laughs> because this had been like this and I just felt bad that it was like all flopped over so I put this aloe here so that it would kind of oh I just <laughs> dropped a leaf so it would kind of hold it up a little bit I just dropped a little leafy I'll put them in here back in there what is that we live on the bottom floor right by the stairs so every time someone comes up the stairs i can actually see them through this like you can see right now but they like will look in at my plants and stuff and i don't want them looking into our apartment so i close it i keep it closed these are two more um paintings i did for school this one is a wax encaustic again and then this was one of probably the second thing i've ever painted in oil and I think because they were both orange and black, I put them over here. It's not really my favorite colors at all. So, grandfather clock, that's my dad's. Um, it w didn't work anymore, so we gave it to us. Well, me. A bookshelf with some books, mostly art books and books from classes that I've taken. Um, these are three different uh, pictures that I got from people. This one, my friend Yo-Yo Faro from the Art Walk or Art Gone Wild thing last year, he drew a picture. He draws pictures of people like while you tell them a story. 
I don't remember my story. It really wasn't that great. But he drew, that's what I look like. And then these both I got from the print sale at Georgia State. So I don't actually know either of these people. But I go to school with them. Or went to school with them. Either one. And they were anywhere from like a dollar to five dollars. Like oh my gosh. So beautiful. Loved it. That's my the charcoal drawing that I did for class. You can see me but not really it but oh my gosh it's I'm still super proud of it like I watched the entire Netflix library of Breaking Bad while working on that drawing and then I made this guy it's just glued together here and then I did strips of color that match the colors that I use and then I got these knobs from um, Pier 1 also and then another drawing that I did for my drawing one class. It was supposed to be like a self-portrait, um, like duality. So it is girliness and, or like sportiness and girliness. So I had like this, you know, those bobble necklaces that used to be like really popular, and then like a scarf, and then sweatpants and um, Byrams because I used to work out a lot. Okay, so nothing really exciting over here. God, are you kidding me? Like, why do you need to turn this on? Why? This is not your shelf, Gavin. This is not your shelf. Why is there a mess of incense? Oh my god. Okay, and then my hookah and my face thing that I love and my shelves that used to be on the counter um, in the kitchen, but Gavin kept moving them and it just frustrated me, so I ended up putting them down here. I like them. I got those from Fort Myers Beach. Not at the beach, actually. I got them from the store. But this is just used to be in a bin, um, but I took that bin to my craft show, so it just stays here. But it's hookah stuff. A bench. Oh, here's my self portrait. That's, you'll recognize this little girl from my tutorial. Or not my tutorial. That's silly. My, um, Remind me, tell me what it was. Tell me what it is. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Tell me. Tell me. Uh, the channel art. That's what it is. This is my avatar. She's so pretty. She has rings, bracelets, and rings. And she also has like tennis shoes. So it was just a self portrait. So it's similar. It's like it was a lot. It was, um, I, I don't think it was the same time that I did drawing one to do that duality but it was similar so I had a bunch of hours because I was like super busy I had like jobs and full and like work and like class I like was teaching art and she had earrings too and I was working at the store and then I had four classes and I, they were all like really complicated classes but this is all hand sewn felt and there and I used to have my my parents house um they would like move her like actually she sat in this chair this is a chair I got from an antique store and they would put her in like in different positions like they would like have her arm up like this so it was like oh I'm so oh. <laughs> anyway so I made this bench too um, with the friend my, my friend Amish helped me make this bench that's a craft project that I did this is darts and literally as soon as we moved in Gavin and his friend broke every single dart so we didn't play darts anymore another encaustic painting it's palimpsest so it's like layers and layers of text and pictures and textures and all this stuff in there this is one of my art gone wild paintings that's in one of the videos but this is what it looks like finished and then this is my polar bear he's really big this is an art gone wild one that i never sold and no one wants to buy it but this is my third time trying to draw this or paint this and I like it. Anyway, more Pier 1 stuff. TJ Maxx, Pier 1. He's cute. And Target. So more art. This is the painting that I did of her. One of my friends in here. Um, it's a happy whale. Matthew Evans. Um, $15 I paid for this print and then he signed it by hand. The bathroom mirror. Ah. Anyway, this is all from Target. 
I think eBay. I broke it. It's the best thing since sliced bread because I don't have a lot of surface room, but I have my straightener and my blow dryer and some Listerine and my swimsuit because it's summer and just a bunch of things that I use right there. And then I have three drawers, nails, hair, skin. My room and I've been laying in bed all day, so it's not exactly clean. But I have some pictures here. That's a painting I did. Another painting. These are paintings I did at the last Art Fun Wild, and no one bought them. And then I bought this from a craft show. This girl that is an interior designer. You can't see it. Let me see. If I can open this. Oh! Um, so interior designer at UGA, and I just love those colors. They're like pinkish, reddish, and it's on a like an old window, and she painted them. Haley. I don't know anything else about her. Paintings I did for class. This is another one I bought from Georgia State Print Sale. Okay, so I'm just going to preface this that I'm a weirdo and I collect cows. I love my cows. These are from Cow Parade. Um, I started collecting these when I was really young and they don't really sell too many, um, too many more. But this one I actually got recently. This is the Atlanta cow. He's so ugly. He's just gray with kudzu. <laughs> That's it. I know it's hard to see because the light behind it, but this was my favorite. And I like this guy too. Any of the ones that like stand up are really interesting. I mean, I literally like all of them equally. But, and then I made this cow. I really don't want to take it out, but whatever. This is a cow. He just fell over. But, okay, so let me just say, the names of all these cows are like, I need something with like a, a clown, a cow like a play on words so this is a circus cown focus and then this is you know like Tutton Kano Kano oh, I don't know. Tutton Kanoman or I don't know Tutton Cowman Tutton I can't remember his actual name but anyway so I wanted to make a cow and I brought one of those for my 3d class the same class that I did the felt self-portrait so he does stand just he's been in the corner right now but little udders anyway but if you can see the head is not attached let me put you back over here the head is not attached because it's decapitated 